my name is Ben, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to upload a prescription to a 2630 display and apply it to a controller. So the first thing we're going to start out doing is we're going to go in the operation center and we're going to wirelessly send this prescription to our 2630. So we're going to go ahead and go to the more tab, click on files. I've already created a prescription in Agrian Prescription Creator. If you want to learn how to do that, we have other YouTube videos on our channel that will show you or point you in the right direction on how to make a prescription in Agrian. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the RDO Demo North UAN solution and transfer it to our demo tractor. Click Transfer to Equipment. Click on the tractor serial number that you'd like to send it to and go ahead and click on transfer. From here, we're gonna to go to our display. Once our file's been received, we're gonna go ahead and click on the menu button, GS3. memory. And in this page we'll find our prescription. It says it's ready to use. We're going to go ahead and click on our prescription and we're going to import this RX. Uh, if you did have previous prescriptions in your display and you'd like to replace them, you can hit replace RX. that the data transfer is complete, you can go ahead and click accept. And from this page, we're assuming that we have our guidance, resources, and equipment already set up. So we're going to go into document. And underneath document, we're going to go ahead and add a single product. So click on add product. Our product type is going to be fertilizer, and our product name is going to be 28 and we're going to go ahead and click accept. From this page, we're going to go down to the bottom right and click the RX button to go to our shapefile converter. Here you'll see a drop down menu by prescription. We're going to go ahead and click on that and we're going to click on shape file. You'll see we have a drop down menu next to shape file. We're going to go ahead and click on that and then we're going to select the prescription we just uploaded to the display. Then we're going to see that the name pops up on it and then we're going to go down to product type and we're gonna do fertilizer by weight as we're demonstrating this on a dry spreader on a rate controller 2000. Our rate units are gonna be pounds to the acre. And then you'll notice that you have out of field rate and loss of GPS rate. If you want the spreader to spread outside of the boundary of the field, you have to have something in that box. So we're gonna go ahead and click our minimum rate in our prescription and apply it as our out of field rate. Also a loss of GPS rate. If you were to lose GPS signal, the fertilizer spreader would stop spreading at this point. So in this box, we sometimes recommend to plug a weight in there also. Then we're gonna go ahead and click accept. Our shapefile conversion is in progress. After it's converted successfully, you're going to see a summary page that comes up with a couple of different items, uh, the total area of the field, the total product that's going to be applied, uh, the maximum, minimum, and average rate. 
If you would like to, from this page, you can click on Enlarge Map. You can see a little bit larger scale size map from that option. We're going to go ahead and click Accept. And we're back to our prescription. We know that we've pulled it in successfully. Uh, we should probably adjust our look ahead time. Uh, look ahead times will vary depending upon tractor and piece of equipment. For this particular application, I'm going to type in two and a half seconds. And it's something that we may need to change going down the road. We also have an option to multiply our prescription. So right now, 100% is exactly how we drew up our prescription. We can change this above or below 100% to change the complete rate of the prescription. We're going to leave it at 100% and hit accept. Now that we've filled out our documentation correctly and applied our shape file, we're going to go into the John Deere Rate Controller 2000. So we're going to begin by hitting the menu button. And we're going to click on JDRC 2000. You'll see a tab up at the top left on the John Deere Rate Controller 2000 saying Rate right Setup. We're going to go ahead and click on that. In that drop-down menu, you'll see Rate Selection. Currently, it is predefined. We're going to drop that menu down and go to Map Based. After we've done this, we can hit the accept button. You'll notice that our rate up in the top right corner is now set for RX. We can then go into our menu, go ahead and click on GS3, and we can click on mapping. As you can see in the map right now, I can't see my prescription in the background. I'm going to change that right now by going to map settings. I'm going to drop down the background menu and I'm going to click on my prescription. Go ahead and hit accept. And now we can see the different zones in our prescription on our background image. Thank you for watching. Connect with us by subscribing to Precision Ag Answers on YouTube and following RDO Equipment Company on social media. Visit rdoequipment.com for more Precision Ag resources and solutions.